I hate reaction content. And I know this is a reaction video, but I feel like for this particular thing that I'm trying to do, I feel like reaction is the best format because I'm not a video essayist. I just don't have the time, brain power, and, or dedication to be a video essayist. But I do want to share the spiciest content that YouTube has to offer in regards to Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I've realized something. I have talked to people about this video that I know that plays Yu-Gi-Oh! I have asked them, have they seen this? I have asked people that I know watches or have watched take content. Have they seen this? And they haven't. I am convinced that sometimes some things just don't get to some people sometimes, regardless of the amount of views. That's the only reason I'm making this series that I'm going to call Obscure Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to continue this and show y'all the actual Yu-Gi-Oh content that's out there that I actually watch on a regular basis and a lot of this stuff has no views. Well, with this but this person actually his content isn't necessarily quote unquote Yu-Gi-Oh content, but it's like Yu-Gi-Oh content that's out in the ecosystem, but there's a lot of interesting Yu-Gi-Oh channels that I want to bring up and show y'all and if you guys like this video, you know, watch hit the like button leave a comment let me know and i will continue this series i will and this is something i can do daily so it's up to you if you like it i'll make it if you don't it's going to the graveyard so today we're going to be looking at faber soul now faber soul is now i don't i don't know how to describe this man but right now he is one of the hottest youtubers i think that has popped up on my radar in 2023 he has been making crazy content i think the first thing i ever saw of his content might have been like the tate um content it might have been the tate content or maybe it was rick versus yugi i don't remember but right now he he's got like rick versus yugi he's got the tate he's got oh he's oh i forgot he got this other stuff. You, you just gotta go check out his channel come check out his channel and after you finish watching this video my boy but let's get into the reaction. This is Andrew Tate versus Rick Sanchez. Come on, let's go. This con the concept is hilarious, and he's using audio from Andrew Tate clips. Okay, he's using audio from clips of Andrew Tate um, <laughs> content videos. I don't know. <laughs> like he's using clips, and he's cutting it for Yu-Gi-Oh purposes. This is so funny to me. Okay, anyway, let's go. Is that your fucking mind? I ain't going to enjoy sending you to the Shadow Realm. Let's, Let's duel. duel. I summon Top G Cam Girl and attack mode. Top G Cam top Girl? <laughs> mode, I summon Grumflamite in attack mode and set 1400 two normal. Down. Grumflamite, attack Andrew's Cam Girl. I activate my trap. Forgot <laughs> Roadkill. <laughs> Grumflamite, attack Andrew's Cam Girl. <laughs> okay all right let's go let's keep going i activate my trap <laughs> roadkill oh bugatti roadkill i actually got a comment on his video and i think he heard it destroys any monster or maybe everybody liked it i don't remember i remember it was popular my brain is far too advanced hold on isn't that just like every Yu-Gi-Oh player hold on a second isn't this just like every Yu-Gi-Oh player that's what happens Hold on. every Yu-Gi-Oh you player right here. My brain is far too advanced. I'm too smart. Oh, but dude, just make your move. I every Yu-Gi-Oh player, every locals, every game, every master duel, every game of Yu-Gi-Oh ever played, every anime episode, every manga, every single one. It's far too advanced. My brain is I'm far too, too smart. advanced. Oh, I'm too dude. smart. Make your move. I set card face down. Can girl attack Rick Sanchez directly? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what the fuck? Your can girl is tripping balls in their court. <laughs> I move. I summon Scary Terry in attack mode. I'm scary Terry. You can run, but you can't hide, bitch. Next, let's continue. Phantom portal summon. Let's continue. Special summon pickle Rick. Oh my, my deck. I'm back, bitches. 
Scary Terry, attack Andrew's cam girl, scissor ham slice. Welcome to the nightmare, bitch. <laughs> I know you want some of this. She seduces the attack monster. This stops your monster from attacking. I set one card face down and end my turn. I am about to summon one monster that all agents of the Matrix. No! <laughs> the card of the law. Above the law. It allows me to summon a level seven monster with okay. one of you. Agents of the Matrix. Oh my God! I sacrifice Cam girl to summon you. Oh my God! You're screwed now, Rick. We'll see about that. Yeah, I'll kick pickle Rick's ass. Please tell me you have a plan. I activate Rick's cloning incubator. This creates a token clone of pickle Rick and redirects your monster's attack. Also, I want to point another thing out. My man Faber Soul is excellent at dual choreography. It's not a lot of people that's good at that. It's very hard to put a duel together and like make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like make it make sense. Make it so that people's questions are, you know, why isn't this? Why isn't that? Now, sure, sure. This is a fantasy scenario and fantasy setup, but clearly set up by somebody who understands the game at least. So I really like I really like that. But goddamn, this shit is just so funny, man. He's got Pickle Rick, and when his monsters are getting attacked, they're like talking. He's, he's like, "Tell me you got a plan." Like they're just that's just all right. That's all right. Let's finish it. To the clone. Wait a minute. Kill him, not me. Fuck you. I'm the original. Shit. <laughs> I set one card and end my turn. My move. I sacrifice scary. I've been enjoying this channel attack. all year. And we did yes. <laughs> I'm glad the I'm finally no sharing this with y'all. You've never seen it. Activate Rickbot's special ability. Go and subscribe. I send one Rick monster like on my side of the field and Rickbot to the graveyard. I can send one card from my deck to the graveyard and add two magic cards from my deck to my hand. Self-destruction activated. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I activate Rejuvenation. This increases Rick my life points by 1,000 for every Rick monster that was sent to the graveyard this turn. If you recall, I sent a card to the graveyard with Rickbot's effect. Andrew, Combos. it's over for you. Like every other time in my life when someone has attempted to destroy me, I emerge victorious. Aikido. Aikido. Not this time. This is now a shattered game. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna call this out. This is some bull. This man Rick waited until not only he got Andrew Tate on the back foot, but he waited until his win condition was nearly complete. Then he turns it into a shadow game. Imagine playing somebody in Master Duel and you're losing and they summon access code talker and they're like this is now a shadow game <laughs> that's hilarious you only want to play for souls when you know you go get the dub classic it's a classic activate monster reborn on the wing dragon of rock i activate my track card matrix challenge matrix challenge against your magic cards if that pretty busted <laughs> I activate my trap card. Counter counter. This negates your trap card. No! Get that bullshit out of here. The wind dragon of Ra has no attack points. Have you lost your mind? You don't know shit about shit tape. Ra has a special ability called point to point transfer. It lets me transfer all my life points except one into his attack points. God cards get sent to the graveyard at the end of the turn if they are special summoned. Even if you destroy Neo, I will still have enough life points. Rock also has another ability called Instant Attack. You can attack all monsters on your side of the field and attack you directly. What the fuck? Rock, Cheating, uh... send him to the Shadow Realm. Please, Cannon. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so, so today, so today you just witnessed the Winged Dragon of Raw kill Andrew Tate. <laughs> and you watched Rick Sanchez. Sent him to the Shadow Realm for his sins. 2023, you're wrapping up quite nicely. <laughs> Seto, hi, Bob. I have something you want. The Winged Dragon of Rock. <laughs> I have very little patience. If I win, I get off a list. If you win, you get rock. 
just to give you a strange incentive. I have uploaded a virus to the Kaiba Corp system. It's leaking all of your data as we speak. Wait, what was that card on the uh, table? What was that card? If I win, I get on the list. If you win, you get rocked. Just to give you a strange incentive. I have uploaded a virus. Div oh, Divine Fusion. Quick place, Phil. Well, actually, you know what, my boys? I'm going to leave it right there, my boys. I'm going to give you guys a little incentive to go check out your boy, Favorite Soul. So, so my man has been making some really cool parody content. I've been enjoying it all year long. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you may have already seen it, but what I've come to learn about YouTube that's pretty interesting is even though someone could have millions of views, there's always still somebody who hasn't seen that stuff. So I think you should guys could go over to his channel check out his long form videos like this but also check out his playlist of the shorts which is primarily where most of the content is that's kind of new and up to date i forget where his series is right now but i know that he has done like yugi versus andrew tate he's done no not andrew tate it was oh no actually you know what i'm not gonna spoil it for you Go check it out, my boy. Go to his channel. Check it out, my boys. I appreciate y'all for kicking it with your boy and watching this one. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next episode of Obscure Yu-Gi-Oh! And as always, keep it dang.